As I'm filming this video, we are currently in the midst of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. There are some really weird and cool events, and it got me thinking, what were the first Winter Olympics? I looked it up. It turns out the first Winter Olympics happened in 1924 in Charmony, France. That means that the Winter Olympics are about 100 years old, and I had to see, what did sport look like? a hundred years ago. I did a little bit of digging and I found out that they actually filmed the first Olympic Games. I wanted to share clips of that video with you guys and compare it to what modern Olympic events look like. So let's jump in and see what the 1924 Winter Olympics actually looked like. From a flashy opening ceremony to mainly just the athletes parading, at this point, it seems like the equipment was more of a showpiece than anything else. We get to see the brooms for curling, the long skis, and even the bobsleighs. Now here's Team Canada in 2022, and here's Team Canada in 1924. Flags are as integral as ever, and here we see them back in the day doing, I think, the athlete's oath say that three times fast. Now let the games begin. In 2022, different disciplines, whereas in 1924, they had 16 nations competing in 16 events across nine disciplines, including this one, speed skating. And you know what? Except for the outfits, the equipment, and the facilities, speed skating looks pretty much the same as it used to. Now on to figure skating, the first Winter Olympic event to be included in the games. We still have child prodigies gracing the ice, but here we see the jumps aren't quite what they are today. The funny part I found that the judges would actually come out on the ice and examine the marks that they left behind. Here we see a pair skating together and it really looks like modern ice dance does. Quite similar, holding each other's hands and turning. Of course, there is much less degree of difficulty involved in those routines. However, they were just starting out. They're the pine. The tricks gotten better, but so have the stands. Now it's on to hockey, and it seems like ice hockey was a pretty new sport for Europe because here they take the time to explain what the tools are. It's not surprising because reading up about the events, I found that the Canadian hockey team went undefeated in their round robin. They won 22-0 against Sweden, 33-0 against Switzerland, and 30 to 0 against Czechoslovakia. Here we see the USA versus Canada men's finals, which Canada ended up winning, and much today we have the same rivalry lives on a hundred years later, and Canada and the US is as much a rivalry as ever. You can see the main differences are, of course, the padding and protection. Back in the day, they had nothing. They were really just on the ice having a good time in their shorts and socks and sweaters. You can see the passion is still the same. I find it unbelievable that these rivalries are over a hundred years old in some of these sports. We certainly don't have horse-drawn carriages at the modern Winter Olympics, so I think they're missing out. But they do have lighted venues here we see cross-country skiing, which of course looks much different than it did back in the day. Still we have the skis and the poles and the determination to win. At the 1924 Winter Olympic Games, there were 10 events which included bobsleigh, curling, ice hockey, figure skating, speed skating, Nordic skiing, Nordic combined, ski jumping, and military patrol. Military patrol is essentially what would turn into biathlon except it was a team event with multiple people. I still really struggle with 
biathlon, why it is included as a sport. It seems so weird to me that skiing and then shooting is a complementary skill set. It was there in the beginning and it has continued on just in a more individual manner. And here we see the bob sled. This is how they used to get the sleds up the hill. This crazy contraption, which is so cool to see. Here's the team going down the hill, the hand dug and track, and you can see that the sled is totally exposed, not much aerodynamics. Versus today, you can see her. I mean, this is also a technique for going faster. And finally, we come to the ski jump. Now, this seems to be the great finale to the Winter Olympics. It's somewhat surprising because these days, ski jumping is such a niche sport, but I guess then it was so impressive and it still is human kind of activity. I can see the allure to it, and here we see a big emphasis and huge crowds to see this spectacle taking place. I hope you enjoyed this look into the world of winter sports over the past 100 years. It's been so fun and crazy to see what they were up to 100 years ago, and I can only imagine where we'll be in the next 100 years. If you like this video as much as I liked making it, please hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you again soon.